Hi, welcome back to Too Fond of Books. My name is Janelle, and in this video, I thought I would just do something fun and show you my penguin green cover collection, plus some penguin paraphernalia that I've gotten myself a hold of. So, but before we get into that, I need to give you the answer to yesterday's My March Mystery Madness Mind Bender. The clue was, this minor character eats apples and interacts with both Parker Pine and Hercule Poirot. And the answer is Ariadne Oliver. I love Ariadne Oliver in the Agatha Christie books. She's such a great character. So she appears in Parker Pine Detective, or it's also called Parker Pine Investigates, I think. And these are a series of short stories about Parker Pine and uh, they were written in the 30s. This book came out in 1934, and so Ariadne is a character in a couple of these stories. She also uh, takes. Uh, she also shows up in a bunch of a Poirot um, stories, including this one, Halloween Party from the 60s, I believe 69. It's one of Agatha Christie's later books. Yeah, 1969. So interestingly about Ariadne Oliver, she's also in The Pale Horse without Poirot, like she's there, she's the detective or, or you know, one of the people investigating. Um, and in, in And Then There Were None, Emily Brent mistakes the name Mrs. Owen for Mrs. Oliver. So I like seeing all these connections. Agatha Christie's universe is definitely... I mean, it's interesting that basically everybody in her in her books are in the same universe, and I love to see when characters appear in different books with different characters. So anyway, that was the answer to the Mindbender, and so stay tuned to the end of the video for the next My March Mystery Madness Mindbender. So let's get into my Penguin class green cover. Um, collection. Here we go. So these are kind of that classic um, design. I love, I love this penguin design. I'm a huge fan of penguin, of penguin books. And so these are the ones that I have of this classic design. And these are all, these editions are all from the early 50s. So I have Trent's Last Case, by E.C. Bentley, Death in a White Tie by Naya Marsh, Maigret Sits It Out by Simenon, I think that's how you say his name, I'm not great at that, um, Comes the Blind Fury, Donald Ruther, not Donald, Douglas Rutherford, Dead Lion, John and Emery Bonnet, or bon Bonnet. Dawn Among the Dead Men, V.E. Voliami. Sorry, I probably should have checked how to say that before I did this video. Oh well. <laughs> London Particular, Christiana Brand. An English Murder, Cyril Hare. My name is Michael Silby, John Bingham. Murder on Safari, uh, Elspeth Huxley. Captain Cutthroat, John Dixon Carr. And Buried for Pleasure, Edmund Crispin. So one thing that I love about most of these is they have the picture of the author and the a description of the author and what they've written on the back of the books, uh, which I quite enjoy. I love some of these old school uh, photos of, <laughs> of authors. Some of them have very impressive uh, mustaches. All right, so those are my Penguin Classic collection. 
of that kind of really, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? This style that is just classic. Everybody recognizes this style. But I also have a few others that are in uh, slightly different styles. So I have a few of these. These are all from the early 60s. These are still Penguin Crime books, but the, the style has changed and now it's white across the top and then green on the bottom with a, um, with a uh, picture or whatever. So this is The Daughter of Time, Josephine Tay. This is Police at the Funeral, Marjorie Allingham. And this is Golden Ashes, Freeman Wills Crofts. And these are all, like I said, these are early 60s editions. And then I also have a few that are um, still penguin green covers, but again, the style has started to change. These are also from the early 60s. Uh, and these are just like straight green covers. This is The Murderer, Simignon. Maigre has scruples, again, Simignon. Take Only As Directed, James Byron. And Lion in the Cellar, Pamela Branch. Then I also thought I would show you quickly, because I, I do have a bunch of other penguins, and they're, I would say these are, rather than penguin green covers, these are penguin green spines. And these are from, um, I didn't check the, the edition dates on these, but I would say these are probably 70, 80, 90 um, time period. And so they all have the green spine, but then the covers are not green and they're just the picture of the book. So this is A Broken Vessel, Kate Ross, Robert B. Parker's The Good Wolf Manuscript, Hilda Lawrence, The Pavilion, and Hilda Lawrence, Blood Upon the Snow. The Coconut Killings, Patricia Moyes. Bartholomew Gill Magar and the PM of Belgrave Square. Edmund Crispin, The Moving Toy Shop. Edmund Crispin, Frequent Hearses. The Cambridge Murderers, Daniel Glynn Daniel. Simeon Megre Meets a Malord. Simeon Maigret Goes Home, The Innocence of Father Brown, G.K. Chesterton, and The Incredulity of Father Brown, G.K. Chesterton. So I just thought that was interesting to see how the designs have changed over the years, but I still think my absolute favorite are these uh, classic penguin green covers. And so whenever I see these at a book sale or at a thrift store or at the used bookstore, I pick them up because um, I just think they're fantastic. I also have a few, um, a couple of uh, what I call penguin paraphernalia. So I have this fantastic bag, book bag, Penguin Classic, and I use this all the time uh, for my library books and I do not remember at all where I got this from. I cannot remember when I got it, where I got it, anything, but I love it. And I also have this fantastic penguin mug. Now it's not a green cover mug, um, but that's okay. It's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I absolutely love these penguin mugs and I have a story behind this one. So a number of years ago, my husband and I went to England for a vacation and we spent four days in London. And before we left for this trip, I did a whole bunch of research to figure out where we might want to go and the places we might want to see and all of that stuff. And in that research, I discovered that there was a bookshop on the Gloucester Road. I forget what it was called, but they sold these mugs. And so as much as we would want to go to a bookshop anyway, and we did look around this bookshop, but we didn't end up buying any books, but I bought this mug. And I probably would have bought more 
but of course, you know, you have limited space in your suitcase. And I was, I really wanted an Agatha Christie one, but they didn't have any. So I'm very happy with my Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice Penguin book mug. So there you go. That's my penguin green cover collection, plus some penguin paraphernalia. Now, the next My March Mystery Madness mind bender. Name the ex-criminal valet slash chauffeur of Albert Campion. Put your answers down in the comment section down below. Also, let me know, do you have any penguin green covers? Uh, do, you, do you like that or do you prefer other type of designs for your covers? I love to chat about books, so uh, put whatever you want down in the comment section down below and let's chat books. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another March Mystery Madness video. Bye!